Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn. Welcome to this I Am Changed webcast. This is one video of a series that will help you understand the principles taught in For My Life, a week-long program centered on aligning our lives with God's Word. This is where we work with people who are willing to take the steps to strengthen their relationships with God, themselves, and others, and develop spiritual, emotional, and physical health based on God's Word. Through this program, you'll learn how to come into obedience so that the blessings promised in the Bible will overtake you. What you're about to see next is part of a For My Life teaching. Following this teaching, we have selected resources to offer you, so stay tuned. Good morning. My name is Marsha Fisher, and I was healed back in 1992 of multiple chemical sensitivities here with Dr. Wright. Uh, I got saved through this ministry. I was 50 years old at the time. So I lived in the world a lot, and I had a lot of occultism, and that's why I'm teaching this class. And occultism is one of the spiritual roots to environmental illnesses. Fear is the other one, but occultism is a big one. So um, I had a lot of experience in that, and praise God, I got saved, I got delivered, I got healed, and I'm here today because I was definitely on a path of death before that. So our object today is to expose occultism so that you understand it better and you can discern it and you can decide whether you want to participate or not. That's the purpose of this class. Okay, occultism is based on philosophies and traditions of men as well as vain deceit and the rudiments of the world. Colossians 2.4 says, And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. And Colossians 2.6-8 says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Whenever I talk about the traditions of men and rudiments of the world, I think of Easter eggs. Where did that come from? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever questioned it? Rabbits don't lay eggs. And what does that have to do with Christ's resurrection? Huh? It's pagan. It's a pagan ceremony that has been you know, adapted into the church. And this is what I want you to do, is to start thinking about some of the things, some of the traditions that you've done year after year, and it goes way back in your family tree. Where did that come from? Okay. Satan used to be called Lucifer, the archangel, and he was perfect from the day he was created until iniquity was found in his heart. It's Ezekiel 28, verse 15, that says, Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. And Lucifer said he would exalt his throne above the clouds and the stars and be like the most high God. And that's in Isaiah 14, verse 13 and 14. It says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Now, I wanted you to hear all those I will, I will, I will, I will. I will be like God. I will be like the most high. And this is what the, the serpent used in the Garden of Eden to entice Eve. You know, you will be as gods. That was, the, that was the enticement. And in the New Age today, that's what they're doing. They're teaching you to become your own god so that you do not need a savior. And um, the, the scripture in 1 Samuel 15, 23 says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And we know Lucifer was the the king of rebellion, right? Okay. In the Bible, Satan is called the god of this world. He's also called the prince of the power of the air. 
And the word world means mankind, and it's the Greek word cosmos. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So Satan's kingdom has an agenda to duplicate, to replicate, and to counterfeit the Godhead. And Satan tries to counterfeit all three members of the Godhead. Now Satan wants to counterfeit the will of the Father in the earth, the word of the Father, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And Satan counterfeits the Godhead through people using his kingdom by giving thoughts to men as if they were their own minds. Ephesians 6.12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, Carl Jung is a very popular um, psychologist. He's dead now, but he is kind of the father of modern-day psych psychotherapy. And he states that spirit guides taught him through automatic handwriting or journaling. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. The interesting thing about Carl Jung is his father was a pastor, and he knew the Bible, and he knew all about, you know, the kingdom of Satan. But when he put together his theory of psychology, he called it archetypes and dark shadows of our ancestry. Now, what does that sound like? That's iniquity. That's generational iniquity coming down. And uh, the Carl Jung, the therapy, you know, uh, a Jungian therapist, what they do is they interpret dreams. I used to go to a Jungian therapist years ago, and she didn't like me as a patient because I couldn't remember my dreams and I didn't really care. But that's what they do. They interpret the dreams. And I mention that because in some Christian circles today, Dream interpretation is very popular. You know, you try to write down every dream you have, you know, in the night, and then you look up what does this symbol mean and what does that mean? And, you know, the Bible tells us that uh, in the latter days, you know, the old men and the young men will have dreams and visions, and I never remember which it is. But, you know, dreams and visions are going to happen. But if you have a dream or a vision from God, I think it will stand out. And you don't have to try to remember every dream you had and try to figure out the symbolic meaning of your dream. You know, maybe you had pizza at 10 o'clock last night, and you're, you're dreaming some weird things. I know my dreams can be pretty weird at times. I don't know about yours. Anyway, so let's talk about what is automatic handwriting and journaling. See, devils have written through men's hands for Often, you know, I mean, over the years, they have done this using journaling and handwriting. And I'm going to talk about the Course of Miracles because that was a piece of work that was uh, written through automatic handwriting. And this is a quote from the preface of the Course of Miracles. And this is the author who's speaking. And she says, three startling months preceded the actual writing during which time Bill, that was her husband, I think, suggested that I write down the highly symbolic dreams and descriptions of the strange images that were coming to me. Although I had grown more accustomed to the unexpected by that time, I was still very surprised when I wrote, this is a course of mi in miracles. That was my introduction to the voice and voice is capitalized. It made no sound, but seemed to be giving me a kind of rapid inner dictation, which I took down in a shorthand notebook. So in other words, she gave herself over to this voice, and the voice was counterfeiting Jesus. We hope you enjoyed that sample of the teaching on occultism. That's just a taste of what we offer in For My Life. You're invited to come to Thomaston, Georgia and join us for this life-changing one-week program. If you'd like to register, you can do it through our website or by calling our registration office at 706-646-2074, extension 291. If you'd like to learn more about occultism and how to overcome it, check out our teaching titled Introduction to Occultism. We offer it in CD format for $17.95, and as a book for $12.95.
Many people have been healed from illnesses and diseases by aligning their lives with God's Word. We encourage you to visit IamChanged.com to view powerful testimonies of people who have been healed and restored after attending the For My Life program. We'd love to hear what God's doing in your life. Please comment below and let us know what you thought of this teaching. We enjoy reading all your comments. May God bless you on your journey toward His truth.